young writer is so innocent <laughs> and so uh, unaware of um, um, the real problems of writing that it's always amazing when you look back that you ever had the temerity to do any of it. Uh, so I think there's something quite different. I think that the, uh, the older writer is likely to be in some ways more anxious because he knows what the possibilities of blunder and of um, uh, and all the rest of it are. I think the the, the young writer. I, I I I look at early books of mine, uh, and you know, with astonishment that I ever had the temerity to think that I could do any of that. And um, I think that's like the kind of daring. Um, that young men have that allows them to go to war or get on motorbikes or whatever it is, all those things we did, which you now think, my God, how did I ever survive that? You know, what did I think I was doing? I, you know, it's amazing that, I ever, that I'm here. And I think the writing, early writing is a bit like that. It's also a quality that's always wonderful in young people's books or in early books, is a kind of freshness and um, daring uh, that 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 really is very endearing as a when you come to read it. Uh, one of the things I think I, I notice um, in writing, not necessarily my own, is that sometimes uh, in older writing uh, a fading of the intensity of the imagination and a fading to of the interest in the tiny details of life and behaviour. You, you see people getting a bit impatient with that. And I think that's, that's I think, something that you um, see the danger of. And it may well be why, at this point, um, what I feel I have energy for, for example, is stories rather than uh, a, a big novel.